Hey guys, it's PC Hacker 11 here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a blood splatter effect inside of Adobe Photoshop. Now, I was searching around on YouTube, and I found a video that showed how to do this, and so I'll post a video to that video. I'll post a link to that video in the description, just so I'm not taking all the credit for doing this. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to make this sort of wallpaper effect, like the wallpaper I have here, inside of Adobe Photoshop. Now to do this, you're going to need Adobe Photoshop, either version CS3 or version CS4 or any other version. All I know is it works with CS4, so I'm going to be demonstrating to this on CS4. So you're going to need Photoshop and you're going to need a couple downloads. So I'll post all the links to the downloads in the, in the description for you guys. So anyway, first you're going to need this font right here called 28 Days Later. Just download that from right here, click download. And then you're going to need this set of brushes right here called the blood brushes. Just download them from here too. And so before we get to the actual wallpaper making, we want to install our font. You don't have to use this font, but you can use any other font if you want to. But I'm just going to show you how to install fonts right here. Go down to Start, Computer, go into Local Disk, go into Windows, and then go in here to Fonts. Then just click and drag your font in and then you should be good. So as you can see here I have a font that says 28 days later. Just click and drag your font in, click continue under the UAC and then you have your font installed. So now what we want to do is open up Photoshop. We're going to go to file, new, create a new document. I'm going to call it blood wallpaper 3. And then I'm going to set to um, now I'm going to set the width and the dimensions to what I want. So I'm going to type in 1, 2, 8, 0, 4, and 800 for my desktop or screen resolution. So I'm going to click OK now. Let's just, and now it has my blank transparent layer. I'm going to go up here to edit. I'm going to click on fill and make sure it's filled in black to have our black background. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and create a new layer. And now I'm going to go and select my text tool. So I have my text tool selected. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to change the color of my text to white. Click OK. Now I'm just going to click and drag and type in what I want. So I'm going to type in PC Hacker 11. I'm going to click in and drag that into the center. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another new layer. And I'm going to select my brush tool. Now I'm going to go over here into the brushes menu, click on that little arrow, and then click on this little arrow. Now I'm going to go down here to load brushes, and I'm going to find where I saved my blood brushes. I saved them here, just click on those, and then it'll add them to Photoshop automatically. So as you can see here, I have them down here at the bottom, which are my blood brushes. So now we just click on one, and splatter some blood around. So. First, we want to go down here and change it to actual blood red color. So I'm going to start that splatter around there. I'm going to go and grab another brush. Put the splatter up there. I'm going to grab this one. Put that there. Put some little thingies, blood splatters up there. I'm going to grab these little things and I'm going to make it look like there's blood dripping down from my text. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab that and just splat that in the corner. I'm going to grab that and uh, I'm going to undo that for a second. I'm going to like put two little things of that up there. And now all I need to do is fill that gap down at the bottom. So, a little splatter there. Uh, put in a little bit of those things. Maybe that comes down. I'll put in this little effect here. And that's pretty much good enough for me. Now, you can go into more detail with this, but I'm trying to make this pretty short. So that's how you make the blood effect inside of Photoshop. So now that we're done making the wallpaper, I'm going to go up here to File, Save As, 
blood wallpaper 3 I'm gonna save it as a PNG image you can save it as any other image you want but I'm gonna save it as a PNG I'm gonna click on save okay and wait for it to save and now it's saved so I'm just gonna close no I don't want to save and here I have my blood wallpaper 3 on my desktop so I'm gonna right click it and I'm gonna click set as desktop wallpaper and it looks like that so anyway that's how you create a cool blood wallpaper effect inside of Adobe Photoshop I'll post the download links to the brushes and the font in the description and I'll also post a link to the video that I watched on this just so I'm not taking all the credit away for this so anyway thanks a lot for watching guys this has been a video from PC Hacker 11 if you have any ideas for videos or any suggestions then please feel free to contact me and so anyway thanks a lot for watching guys and I'll see you later